Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another declutter video. This is kind of my bronzer drawer, but as you can see, things have gotten a little out of control. And so some blush is overflown in here. Definitely some highlighters. So we got to fix all of this up. Like I've said in my other declutter videos, I'm basically decluttering because I want to do a makeup collection inventory, but I figured it doesn't make sense to inventory things without decluttering first so I can kind of like purge my collection. So that's what we're doing in these few videos. So if you like declutters, subscribe to my channel because there are a few left, I think. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway. So this is my, traditionally, my bronzer drawer, but I have a ton of face palettes in here. The Kaleidos highlighters apparently made their home here. So we gotta do some reorganizing. I also have this blush palette, which obviously does not belong in this drawer. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with setting this one aside, but I already filmed my blush declutter, so I'm just gonna show this in this video. This is a beautiful palette. This is Glowing in Grease by BH Cosmetics. And I just saw recently they launched some really cute quads of blushes for different, different skin tones. And I think based off of the really positive experience I've had with this one, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend those ones to you. Otherwise, if you see these on a good sale and you need a good blush in your life, this is a really, really good recommendation. So. Just starting it off with a little review for y'all. I've got some, apparently I just went hog wild for wet and wild bronzers. So these are the color icon bronzers. I have Palm Beach Ready, Sunset Strip Tees, and Queen's Land. This one was from like their Game of Thrones type collection. I'm gonna keep all three of these because honestly you can just never have too many good bronzers and I am curious to try those so let me make a little keep pile maybe oh wow i got right here with those three these should again have been in my blush drawer not sure why they were in my bronzer drawer i guess i have one bronzer i don't really like this bronzer i've talked about this multiple times i feel like this product is so overhyped it's so tough to blend and I don't know, it just irritates me that so many people love it so much. And then I also have this blush shade in the shade Spice Cinnamon. I thought when I read the shade Spice Cinnamon, I was expecting more of a more terracotta type blush. So I hardly ever use these products. And I'm going to go ahead and put these in my declutter pile. Here's another bronzer I like to use. This is the Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie. I don't love this. This isn't my favorite bronzer. But since I own it and it mostly works okay for me, look at how dirty these things get. That's gnarly. <laughs> um, this works for me okay. So my plan is to just use this up and then I probably won't repurchase. I also have this little KKW blush in here. This is from the Artist and Muse collection with Mario. It's okay, it's got a little bit of heart pan. So I'm gonna try and pass this on to somebody else to get more use out of. Okay, this is the Betty Lou Manizer. I don't think I've ever used this. I think I bought this because I had a little Betty Lou like quad or no, like it was a trio of Betty Luminizers and this is so old <laughs> and clearly I never like got to it. I don't see myself. Well, I might actually use this as a bronzer. Ooh, hard to say. It's like a highlighter for deeper skin tones, but sometimes I like a little sheen on my face, so I might use this as a bronzer. Hmm. I'm gonna hold on to it. We'll try and see one, let's just hold on to it for one more summer and we'll see how it goes. These, these Soul Body highlighters, I feel like I kind of jumped the gun when I bought this. Like I didn't need this at all, but I got all excited. And I picked it up and it smells really good, but I really don't see myself using this. I guess I can um, see if I'll want to use this this summer, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my declutter pile because I never reach for this. Here's another thing that 
I think I bought the wrong shade. This is the Huda Beauty Medium. Oh gosh. This is her tan tour product. So it's like a contour slash bronzer. It's pretty nice. I just, I never reach for it. So I think I'm going to put this in my maybe slash declutter pile. And again, what I said was if I feel myself missing it, I will reach back into my declutter box and pull it back out. But if I have this in my purgatory pile for a couple of months and never reach for it, I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Same, I think, for this NARS product. This is a bronzer, highlighter, and eyeshadow palette combo. I hardly ever use this. Like, it's, I don't know why I bought it, because NARS eyeshadows are okay, but like, I don't ever really reach for like neutrals like this. And I mean, it's a really nice like travel palette, but I hardly ever go traveling anywhere. I think I bought it for the bronzer shade, because I used to love NARS bronzers, but I have so many. I think this is also going in my purgatory slash declutter box. I just got a purge. I know this one for sure I'm going to get rid of. This is the Becca, Chloe, and Malika palette. I don't know why I bought this. I don't know what possessed me to spend my money on this, but you will be able to find this on my Poshmark. There is no purgatory for this one. So I love this palette. This is a Becca holiday palette. I've been trying for years to pan this bronzer. I don't know if it's ever going to happen. This is a pretty blush shade for me. I love this blush shade. These two are beautiful highlighters. I've been trying to pan this one. As you can see, I think that is Becca Opal. So I'm going to hold on to this because I recently got rid of a bunch of my full-size Becca highlighters, so I'm going to keep this palette. Okay, here is another NARS face palette. This one came out a few years ago, and people were going nuts for this highlighting shade. Um, what was this called? This is the Bord Plage palette. I never reach for this, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in my declutter pile, see if I can find it a new home. This one, I'm so... Ah, I'm so conflicted by this because like I said, I did get a, get rid of a bunch of my Becca full-size highlighters, like the individual products. So I think I'm actually going to keep this because other than it being a Jaclyn Hill palette, I actually really like Becca products and I don't have as many as I used to. So I'm going to hold on to that. We'll see if I don't use these in 2020, then I will declutter them. So then I have this Profusion highlight and contour palette. I've never used this. I don't know why I'm holding on to this. I think maybe it's because I thought if I do makeup on my lighter skin tone friends. So that's a good reason to keep it. So I'm going to hold on to that. This Sephora palette. I bought this mostly just for this bright orange shade. Oh my god, look at that. It reminds me of what NARS Taj Mahal would be if I owned that shade. I like don't want to spend $30 for a NARS blush these days, so I bought this one. Oh, it's so pretty. I think I'm going to keep this. I don't use this enough, but these Sephora face palettes are really good. If you guys are okay with buying non-cruelty free, um, I would recommend the Sephora ones. I'm going to take out the Kaleidos highlighters because they don't belong here and take this out. And then there are more bronzers here. So let me walk you through those ones. I have this guy from MAC. This is Gold Deposit. It's another one of those like shimmery things that I guess I used to use as a bronzer. Wow, that's really freaking shimmery. I'm going to put this in my purgatory. Actually, I'm going to put both of these in my purgatory because... I don't remember using the MAC one, which means I'll probably never use the Balm one. So putting that in my purgatory box. I have another MAC. This is the Studio Sculpt Defining Powder. I was on like a hunt for bronzers, and apparently I thought MAC was the way to go. So that's pretty, pretty color. We'll see. I will see if I use these this summer. If I don't use them this summer, then that is a good, like, way for me to judge that I won't use them anymore like it's time to move them along kind of thing and then I have this guy this is so pretty this is the Aladdin bronzer also from MAC this is called 
Your wish is my command. And I really enjoyed this bronzer, so I'm definitely keeping that. I have two from Becca. This is the Becca Sunset Waves. I think I got this on sale. This one, this one needs to get tested. I swear I don't use this enough, but it looks like a pretty shade. I'm gonna hold on to it again. Maybe in 2021 I'll do another declutter, and then if I feel like it's time to get rid of it, I will get rid of it. This is a another Becca one. This is their Ipanema Sun. I used to really like this bronzer, so I'm gonna hold on to it because I'm not just gonna, it's hard for me to find blushes I really like. So if I found a few that I really like, I'm gonna try and pan them and use them up this year. Okay, here is another beautiful bronzer. This is from Kevin Aquan in the shade Dusk Medium. I showed you guys the Sunset Blush in my blush drawer declutter. And so when I saw that they were coming out with bronzers, of course, I hopped right to it and picked it up. This one can go, this is the Milani bronzer in Silky Matte. I bought this online and I wasn't sure what color to get. And I feel like this one is just a little too dark for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this on to somebody else. And then another bronzer favorite of mine is this guy by BH Cosmetics. This is Brilliance Bronzer in Cocoa Cutie, and it's a pretty color, also a nice affordable bronzer, so I'm keeping that. And then I have these two that I found in my blush drawer de declutter, so I'm just putting these back where they belong. This is Give Me Sun by MAC. Oh, it doesn't fit in there. Well, that's too bad. And then I have the City Bronzer from Maybelline in the shade 300. And that's another nice bronzer as well. So bronzer is definitely on my list of things not to buy as well this year. Just because I want to use these up. There's nothing wrong with the bronzers I have currently. So why do I need to buy more? So those are all staying. And then I want to combine. I want to see if I can combine these drawers. So this is my blush drawer. I'm going to add these together. So yeah, I managed to condense my two little blush and bronzer drawers so now my blush drawer is no more it's just some sydney grace pigments in case you guys are wondering oh and then i have these two and this um bh cosmetics palette i want to add to that as well so i'll put that there and these two there so we got a nice busy cleaned up drawer oh and then I picked this up because I'm a child and honestly I want the Physicians Formula bronzers to come in a shade that works with my skin tone and since this girl looks like she's Asian I thought maybe they would have created some shades that work for me. I haven't tried this on my eyes yet. This came broken and these two just look so light. Ugh. I'm just gonna swatch it. I want a butter bronzer so bad because it smells like summertime and I just wish Physicians Formula would include me. So we'll see. This is their new collab with Whaley. I don't know how to say the last name, but uh, I totally was excited to try this because it also is a palette, not some like atrocious box packaging. So yeah, oh well. So that is everything for my bronzer declutter video i wanted to combine the blush drawer and the bronzer drawer just because i knew i could um there's a lot of stuff that's just been hanging out in my drawer for too long so it's nice to see it all condensed and i know i have a few more blushes that are sitting on my desk that are currently in use so that'll all get put away when the time comes and then this is my blush and bronzer purgatory uh, um, box so some of these are definitely getting decluttered others i was kind of humming and hawing so we'll see what i end up doing with these 
if you guys like to buy secondhand, I usually post product on my Poshmark. I don't really mind selling things on Poshmark because I know like I'm clean, so I'm not worried at all about something like that. Plus, once you get the item, if you don't want it or it's not in the condition you expected or wasn't as described by the seller, you can always send it back. So yeah, anyway, that's how I like to get rid of most of my stuff. I have bought all of the makeup I showed today. I do get some things in PR now that my channel is a little bit bigger, but all of this I've purchased myself and happy um, to be able to say that. These were sent to me, um, but they weren't really part of the video today. So anyway, oh my God, can you guys see my inhaler? I'm such a dork, but like I did, I did go to the doctor in case any of you were still wondering because I have a hard time breathing sometimes. My asthma's been flaring up. So in case any of you guys were still concerned about that, there's an update for you. Um, okay, so I feel like I've been dragging this ending out for way too long. So that is it, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching my, my bronzer drawer declutter. I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye!